How do you make sure you start off your principalship and set yourself up for success so you thrive throughout the year? This is what we're going to be talking about today in this week's coaching. So hi, my name is Daphne Walbridge from the First Year Principal, and I help new and aspiring principals thrive as conscious leaders. I do this by helping them narrow that first year learning gap. So welcome. Uh, recently, I had a private coaching session with uh, a new principal, and she was sharing with me that uh, she was exhausted at the end of the year because she felt that she was doing everything and she was sometimes at a loss uh, of what to do and she felt like she was always in reactive mode and when we did a deeper dive uh, into her situation it was clear that what was lacking was um, being aware of the key pillars of her school. So she has her school profile and specifically um, the special ed portfolio, uh, the knowledge of this, this, this portfolio was lacking. And um, so we, we identified this and I helped her um, create a plan to uh, help um, sh to, to, to share the leadership in, the, with, in this um, area. So basically, um, the, the situation was that she was taking on everything and the paraprofessionals uh, were just waiting for instructions. So we kind of um, crafted a plan where she would share the leadership. So if she was gone, for example, one day for a seminar, the school would not fall apart, okay, which was basically how it was set up. So we talked about delegating leadership to her uh, instructional lead within the school who would be able to move people around if need be to accommodate the special needs students. Um, we made sure that all the paraprofessionals had the proper training to attend to any special needs students that needed medical care or um, certain um, I don't know certain practices healthcare practices, etc. And so we put that in place. I helped her put that in place with her with her team, and uh, we we made sure that she also had um, a constant check in with a special ed lead, regional lead. So she would always get some regular coaching. So this allowed her, because the tipping point for this 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 principle was that. She was not able to take any sick days. She told me she had to cancel a sick day because um, one of her paraprofessionals was missing and she had to delegate her special ed teacher to the task. And because of that, she didn't have any support staff to take over her job during the day. So I, I told her, there's, you know, there's no excuse for that. You need to make sure you have the systems in place because if you're gone on a conference for three days, you need to make sure that the school is still functioning well and the students are safe and thriving. So she quickly uh, realized that she had her hands in too many pies and that she needed to share the leadership. So this is a message that I think is very, very important. As a new principal, oftentimes we're going to want to make sure that we know what's happening everywhere and that we know every little detail. But, you know, part of trusting our staff members is also making sure that we're comfortable delegating leadership to other people. They need to have a certain control over certain or portfolios. Of course, you're overseeing them as a principal, but shared leadership is really where it's at because then it allows you to have a much broader view of what's happening. You can, you know, get that, that aerial view while you have people doing what they have to do and then you connect with them, you know, to monitor progress. So in this situation, this is what she did. She uh, organized weekly coaching with the regional lead. Uh, so she was being educated, um, you know, in, in special ed. Um, and, um, and also she had the time uh, and the, um, the resources allocated to train the other paraprofessionals in case one was sick, somebody else could step in. And she also made sure that her special ed teacher was uh, equipped to change schedules, the paraprofessional schedules um, on a given day if the principal wasn't there or even when she was there to take that task off her shoulders off her plate. So 
very, very important to make sure that you're comfortable delegating and you have check-ins with these people. So you're still monitoring, but you have to relinquish some control to make sure that you have the energy to oversee um, in, on a, in a general way what's happening within your school. And also the, um, the way to evaluate this is, you know, if you're gone for a few days, the school is still running smoothly, okay? And you're allowed to take a day off for mental health, <laughs> you know, for a break. You need to, you need to, to rest as well. So this was a really, really important lesson. And it's important from day one to get to know your portfolio. So special ed, your curriculum, any initiatives that are coming your way. Um, so those key pillars, you need to, uh, your, your school improvement plan, right? Uh, what's your urgency within your school? What, what do you want to narrow? So that you need to get to know and then assign people to help start delegating. And then you're in the driver's seat and you can take the time you need to monitor. But if you're gone for a few days, the school is still running smoothly and it takes a lot of pressure off your shoulders. So I hope this was of service to you. I hope this resonates with you as a new or aspiring school leader. Um, if you're looking for more resources, please feel free to go to thefirstyearprincipal.com. There's a lot of free resources there and make sure to check out my classroom uh, on the Thinkific platform. It's learnwithdaphne.thinkific.com. There's lots of great things there, including the First Year Principal Tribe, which is our weekly coaching session. And make sure to check out my new book, The First Year Principal. It's out on Amazon now. So I'll see you next week for our coaching session. Bye for now.